How you doing everybody? My name is Brandon and I want to welcome you back here to my channel Smoking Flips. If you're new to the channel, I'm a part-time eBay reseller. My wife Amber's part-time Macari reseller. And we use this channel as a way to document our journey and then to show you some of our adventures. So for today's video, we're going to be going over what we've sold over the last couple of weeks. And then at the end of the video, we've got a special announcement we're going to make, so you're going to want to stick around for that. Uh, to get into sales, first thing I sold was this wood bead. Uh, bracelet picked that up in a big jewelry lot and all in all I think I was about 25 cents into that I uh, sold that for seven dollars and 98 cents with free shipping uh, so after shipping eBay fees and everything I made just under four dollars so you can't really beat that it took less than a minute probably to list uh, just a couple quick pictures and then list it up and it sold pretty quickly actually uh, the next thing I got going out was this blue gun. That's a 1911 training gun for law enforcement, uh, martial arts, things like that. Uh, that one sold for $40 plus shipping, and I paid $4 for that in an online auction. Uh, so can't beat that. Uh, it did take a, about a month or so to sell after listing, but it eventually got going. Uh, next thing I sold were these two pack of these arrow veins. I uh, picked those up as part of that sporting good palette I've talked about before. Uh, so I'm 10 cents into both packs and I sold those for $10.50 plus shipping. So pretty good pickup there. Uh, next thing I got going out is a Clue game. Uh, the Clue game was brand new sealed. Paid a dollar for that at a garage sale and that one sold for $12.50 plus shipping. So decent little pickup there. Next, I sold this uh, Brother as uh, a SK4000 typewriter. I picked that up at an online auction back during the early spring, paid $75 for it. Uh, it was brand new in the box, but the box had been open. Uh, it still had all the factory protective plastic stuff all over the typewriter and all that good stuff. I uh, listed that for $360, I believe it was, and I took a best offer of $320 plus shipping. So pretty good mar profit margin there. Uh, I did take a little bit to sell, but like I said, pretty good profit margin, so I'm okay with that. Uh, next, I sold a fencing helmet. Uh, you guys will have seen me pick that up at a garage sale a few weeks ago. I uh, paid $30 for a big lot of uh, fencing gear, swords, uh, the shirts, and then three helmets. Sold this one helmet for $24 plus shipping. Uh, so that's a pretty good pickup. I think I'm going to make pretty good money off of those by the time it's all said and done. I've still got some research to do on the swords and trying to get them listed and everything. So, Next, I sold a pack of uh, Meyer brand printer ink. Picked that up retail arbitrage for like a dollar. And it sold for $4.20 plus shipping. Uh, so not a really high profit margin there. Uh, but... I was able to get multiples of the same item, so just one listing with several items, so all that adds up. So I'll take that all day long. Next, I sold a uh, Pamela Anderson Baywatch air freshener. Talked about those before. Uh, this one I took a best offer of $3.75 plus shipping, so easy money there. Those are really easy to ship as well. Next, I sold a pair of women's MMA gloves, uh, they're Century Martial Arts gloves. I picked those up as part of a sporting good palette as well, so I'm five cents a pair into those. And that sold for $9.93 with free shipping. Uh, so I'll end up making about $6 off the deal by the time it's all said and done. So, can't really beat that for a nickel. Next, I sold another, pair, uh, another set of this Epson ink. Uh, it's Meyer brand for Epson printer. Sold that as well for $4.20 plus shipping. So like I said, just one, one listing with multiple items. And that just keeps paying dividends. So next thing I sold was an NRA Second Amendment Primer book. Picked that up at a yard sale for about a quarter. And it sold for $8.97 with free shipping. And that went media mail. Uh, that was purchased in a big lot of other NRA type stuff. Belt buckles, things like that. So... Out of all the NRA stuff, that's probably one of the lower profit margin items I bought, but it's still a pretty good turnaround, so I'll take it. Next, I sold another Francesca Banastelli On It CD. Uh, that one sold full price for $11.20 for free shipping. And I believe that might have been my last one of those, so 
pretty good profit margin over all those CDs. I bought them for like $15 for like 100 CDs. Uh, so you can't really beat that. Next, I sold a Balloon Pop Wii game. I picked that up in a big lot of video games, and it sold for $5.25 with free shipping. Uh, that was probably a game that I should have lotted with some other games, but it was I purchased that back when I first started reselling. It's been listed for the better part of a year now, so happy to finally see it go. Only made uh, probably about a dollar off of it, but that's a dollar, so it'll add up. Uh, next thing I saw was this uh, Yvonne Elliman vinyl album. Picked that up in a big lot of new seal vinyl albums. And it sold for $4.80 plus shipping. It's a decent little pickup there. I'm well into the profit on all those uh, vinyl records that I bought. So happy to keep seeing those sell. Next I sold another one of these Epson Inc. Uh, Meyer Brands. Sold it for $4.20 plus shipping. So like I said, just one listing just keeps paying, paying, and paying. So it was worth it in my opinion. Next I sold a 0.095 diameter uh, weed eater line. Picked that up retail arbitrage for like a dollar. And I picked up a huge uh, load of that. I'll show you the picture of that now. Uh, but like you can see, I still got a full cart of weed eater line, weed eater accessories. And it was all super cheap. Uh, so I've got most of that listed now. I still got about half of it still list, but it's one of those cases where it's multiple items again, just a few listings. So probably be holding on to a lot of that until springtime, but once springtime draws around, I expect it to start selling a little bit faster. Uh, but I sold this one right here, uh, like I said, for seven dollars and fifty-two cents plus shipping. So a decent little pickup there. I made probably four dollars. So next thing I picked up was this Air and Space Lunar Rover diecast. Picked that up in an estate sale where I bought a bunch of other diecasts, a lot of Hess trucks. I think I paid like a dollar and fifty cents for that one, and it sold for seven dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping. So quick, easy list and quick, easy sell. Next thing I sold, I actually talked about it in my last what sold video, was this Hulk Hogan Bendy's character. Picked that up in an action figure lot I bought from Colton. That was the most valuable one out of there. I sold the rest of them as a lot in the last video. Uh, but just this one figure sold for $28.80 plus shipping. So happy about that. I more than doubled my investment in those action figures. So pretty good turnover. Next I sold a lot of eight Eagle Claw fishing rod holders. Picked those up as part of the Sporting Good palette. And I just lotted them all together. Uh, so with eight of them, I'm 40 cents into it, and I sold those for $42.34 with free shipping. And those shipped out priority cubic, so I think I paid like $10 for shipping. So all in all, I made close to $30. Uh, but decent pickup, can't beat it. Uh, next thing I sold was this Joey Travolta vinyl album. Picked that up in the same vinyl album lot, and that one sold for $15 plus shipping. Uh, so that one had a little bit better turnover rate for the ones I've got left. I'm uh, happy with that. So the next thing I got going out, I actually lost money on. Uh, it was a gaffe on my part. I listed this weed eater line right here. I was in a rush when I was making the list and only had two of this particular size one. Uh, but I listed it and I used a template from another seller. It sells similar and it was a three pack uh, that I used the template from. And I was wanting to sell them individually, but I didn't take three pack out on the listing. Uh, so I priced it accordingly for one roll. And then somebody came in and bought it. And when I was packing it up, I realized it said three pack. Uh, so I messaged the buyer and gave him a few different options. Offered to throw in a different uh, roll of a different type of weed eater line that would still fit for the same size as the third item. I offered to ship the two that I had and issue a partial refund for the one third of the purchase price, which is the one that they chose to do, and that's what we did. And then I offered them to just cancel the order outright. Uh, the buyer was very understanding, appreciated me reaching out to them. And like I said, they chose the partial refund, so I went ahead and issued that. And it was free shipping, so I ended up losing money. I think it was like five dollars after everything after the partial refund, and it cost me three dollars to ship it, so. 
I think I paid a dollar fifty a piece, so I didn't lose too awful much money, but be careful when you're making your listings or that type of thing will happen to you. Next thing I sold was another thing of ink. Uh, this one's for a Lexmark 3233 series printer, and that was part of the same deal. Bought it at Meyer on Retail Arbitrage, and I paid, I think it was like 50 cents for this pack. Uh, this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. It's a decent little pickup there, and it's also one of the ones where I've got several of the same items, so hopefully those will start selling a little bit faster. Next thing I sold is a San Francisco 49ers pacifier set. I picked that up at a local thrift store, it's still new sealed for a dollar, and it sold for four dollars and twenty cents plus shipping. So I made a couple bucks on that, and it took less than a minute to list, so can't complain about that. Next thing I got going out uh, is a viewer sale. That's uh, actually my first one on this channel. Uh, but it went to Roy at RK Treasures. And I posted this uh, picture of his helmet. It says, follow me. I believe it's an infantry, like OCS helmet liner. But I never could find any exact comps for it. I got a few of the MP helmets because I was an MP in the Army. Uh, but this one was a new one for me. I picked this up at a local estate sale and posted on Instagram like I said Roy at RK Treasure Center uh, messaged me asked me what I'd take for it and made him an offer and he accepted it uh, so we got that out to Roy hope you enjoy it Roy if you're watching uh, but really nice helmet I really liked it and I almost kept it for my own personal collection but seems like he's going to appreciate it a lot more than I would so I'm glad he got it and that's all the sales that I've had on eBay over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'm getting ready to shift gears a little bit and move into more listing phase. I've been in a sourcing phase since the COVID quarantine lifted. And I've just been buying, 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 buying. And my garage back behind that camera, uh, it's, it's a mess. I've got stuff stacked everywhere. It's just basically a big, massive death pile. Uh, so I'm going to be focusing starting probably now because I think the garage sales are over for the year and I'm going to start focusing on listing, getting things organized a little bit better and probably be, have enough of that probably to keep me busy for most of the spring. I'll still go to thrift stores, things like that, and take you all along with it. Uh, but for the most part, my sourcing is going to be on hold for the winter time. Uh, with that said, I've got plenty of stuff to do, so it ought to be interesting. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and bring Amber in and let her go over her Macari sales with you. Hey everybody, it's Amber and I'm going to go over everything I've sold on Macari. Um, I, first thing I sold was a Nike hoodie. I sold it for $19 plus shipping and I paid $4 at the Goodwill for it. The next thing I sold was a zombie doctor costume. I've sold it for $21 free shipping and we found that for 90% off at some store. Uh, the next item is a dinosaur costume. Um, we, I sold it for $20 free shipping and it was also a 90% off find. The next is a LuLaRoe Cassie skirt. I sold it for $8 plus shipping, and that was in the big Lula Row lot that we had. Um, next would be the Nike Colts pullover, um, $20 plus shipping, and it was $5 at Goodwill. And then we have a Lula Row Carly. I sold it for $12 plus shipping. Um, the next is UGG Leather Sneakers. I sold them for $46 free shipping. I actually found these as soon as they rolled out a cart at Goodwill. Um, they were $4. They were on the bottom. And I looked at them. I was like, oh, those are cute sneakers. And I actually wanted them for me, but they are too big but, or too little. But um, it was a really great find and a great flip. Um, the next is a baby girl Sully costume. I sold it for $10 plus shipping. That's from Caroline's Closet that was collecting dust. The next is a Rick Rack and Ruffles Christmas bubble um, with the embroidered C on it. 
That was um, one of Caroline's Christmas outfits last year. I sold it for $20 plus shipping. Um, and I actually probably paid less than $20 for it last year. So I got a little bit of my money back on her clothes that I like to buy. Um, the next is a baby football costume, $11 plus shipping. Um, Brandon had bought this when I was pregnant with Caroline for this photo opportunity that lasted maybe five minutes and we had a screaming baby. Um, so it was, it was a good memory and a funny photo, but, um, we're getting rid of it and getting some of our money back. The next is a Melissa and Doug instrument set. Um, I think there was like 13 little loud items in it um, that would give a parent a headache, but um, they were sold them for $17 plus shipping, and I found those for $3 at a yard sale. Um, I love Melissa and Doug stuff, um, but I also don't like headaches, or I would have kept those, so um, I went ahead and sold them. The next thing I sold was a toddler cupcake costume. Um, it was 15, sold for $15 plus shipping, and it was a 90% off find as well. And the last thing I sold was LuLaRoe Disney Tall Curvy Leggings, $10 plus shipping. And that's it. All right, so that's gonna do it for our video today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the things that we've sold. Like I said, we had shut down our store for about a week. So that killed off our sales uh, pretty good, but they're starting to creep back up now to get about where we want them to be. Uh, like I said at the start of this video, we do have a big announcement to make. Uh, just here recently, we crossed over the 250 subscriber threshold. And just want to thank all you guys that have already subscribed from the bottom of my heart. That uh, means a lot to both me and Amber. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, can't beat the present, go on and click the subscribe button. doesn't cost you a thing, uh, but it does help. The channel tremendously helps YouTube push it a little bit more so more people will see it. Uh, so that would mean a lot to us if you'd go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, but for those of you that have already stuck around this long, uh, if you go down below, uh, comment somewhere in the comments of this video, the number 250. Uh, you don't have to put anything else. You can mix it in the comment ever how you want to. Uh, but we're going to let everybody comment that between now and November the 1st. And uh, November the 1st, we'll be doing a random drawing of everybody that commented below. Uh, you got to include the 250 in there somewhere just to be counted. Uh, but everybody that comments that, we're going to do a random drawing and we're going to be giving away $50 through PayPal. Uh, so whoever wins, I'll be in touch with you after that drawing and we'll get you your money. Spend it ever how you want to. It's just our gift from us to say thank you. Uh, so make sure you go comment below. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Like I said, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. And then also the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, thanks for sticking around with us.